Hi guys, welcome back to Shruti Spices Curry. Today, my formula in my chemistry lab is PPP, means PQ. Yes, but no, sorry, I don't want to give mental abuse to you, neither to your children. So today, in this recipe, the value of P cube or P into P into P is paneer popcorn pakora. Yes, so come let's see how can we make it. Today our mission S cube versus P cube. Shruti spices curry versus paneer popcorn pakora shall win the game. So now I'm taking a mixing bowl and first to make the batter, I'm taking ginger paste, garlic paste, the chili powder, pepper, The king of every recipe, salt, and turmeric. Along with these, I am taking a whole lemon. We will take out the juice. Oh. Okay. So I have taken out all the juice from the lemon and I am going to mix this into a paste. Oh, it looks very spicy. Queen of this recipe has arrived. The presentation of P cube and I will put them all into the mixture. I have cut the paneer into pieces. And now after putting the paneer, I will slowly mix it with the mixture. So here, in gentle hands, I will mix the paneer with the masala. And now, they are approximately mixed and this mixture, I will put it in the freezer for 10 minutes. We will come back after 10 minutes. Bye! So the value of second P is the crust. And for the crust, I am taking some cornflakes as the base. Now cornflakes makes it more tastier and healthier too. Being a crit friend, being a crit friendly recipe. So now I am putting the cornflakes here. And I am going to crush, crush and crush. Oh, it's so relaxing. Taking a long time, my hands are paining and it's the most boring work ever. You should take me to the mental hospital. I'm really mental, a mental patient. I didn't notice my mother kept the mixer kind of here. I'm going to use it now. I didn't know that machine makes your life so good. And comfortable. <coughs> so now I'm going to put this in a plate. Bang, bang, bang. Yes, it's ready. And now let's move to the towards the base of the structure of the base. I have taken 50% uh, of corn flour and 50% of normal flour and mix it. Now after mixing it well, I will put this mixture 
into a bowl. And I will add some water part by part. Oops. The mixture should be semi-liquid. You can see my structure of batter is ready. The consistency should be like this. And make sure there are no lumps. And for some tasting, I put some salt in it, just a less than a spoon of this small spoon. I'm putting and mixing it. Yes, so now I'll put on the gas and put the oil to ensure that it's hot. I'm putting this much and I'll let it um, hot for some time until then I've taken out the paneer from the refrigerator I'm gonna give it another snap of overlapping and I will put them inside this pan taking one by one putting it here and then I'll put it in the cornflakes Like this I will make all the yes. So all my pakoras are done and the oil is also hot so I am going to fry it. it in low flame don't fry it in high flame and here un until and unless the pakora is turn golden brown i'm not picking them up and yes if you are uh, if you are planning to fry them in high flame then you're wrong the oil i mean the color of the pakoras may make you judge a book by its cover but it will be raw from inside but very beautiful from inside Yes, so as you can see, the color has turned golden brown and I'm going to decrease the flame of the gas and rinse the oil a bit. I'll do the same for the rest. So I'm frying the rest of the slot here. And the first slot I have made here. You can check it out. Let's turn on perfect. Until the time uh, the, this slot is going on. I'll make some dip for the pakoras and for it first I'm taking some mint leaves in every art green plays a vital role so in the cooking of art I'm putting some mint leaves to add some taste yes so my Third P of P cube is done. That is the pakoda, and I am 
draining of the oil for the last slot. Yes. So, as you can see, all my pakoras are done. They smell good. So turn off the gas and this is the outcome of the third P, the value of third P. Now I was thinking all this time while frying it that if I could dip it somewhere and eat but I am bored of eating that same ketchup flavor. So I thought of making some dips today. Now to make dips, then let me show you how to make dips. If I told you, we will make that dip now. So here I have taken some mint juice. I have plucked the mint, put them in the mixer grinder, they have to and have taken out the juice. Now I will add two spoons of mayo. My decoration is ready too and this is the normal dip or the tomato ketchup and this is the uh, mint dip that I made from mint juice and mayonnaise. So, so I think it's high time that I taste it. The mint dip has a pleasant color I must say. Amazing! I am speechless how to describe this food item. It's just amazing. So if you like my video, don't forget to like, share and comment. And for more freshly brewed content, keep watching Shruti Spices Culinary.